My blonde Brazilian friend is showing me his 25% German ancestry. I would probably also have that same reaction to your Brazilian friend. I would like more information about his grandpa. Though Argentina tends to be the butt of the joke when it comes to this sort of stuff, Brazil actually has the most German ancestry in the entire continent. Overall though, there is 1 million German speakers that live in Latin America today. I confidently believe the 68 million people in the UK would outdrink the 330 million Americans comfortably in a nationwide head to head. As an American myself, I don't think I can argue against this. I, I think he would have his beat. I think maybe the people of Wisconsin would give him a little bit of trouble since this state is by far and away our drunkest US state. But we can't expect just 5 million people to put the whole nation on their back. There's approximately 46,800 pubs across the entire UK. Like, how are we supposed to compete with that? Music for banishing aliens back beyond the Kepler belts. First on the playlist, we have the classic Ride of the Valkyries. Dun, 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 dun. The second Second song, the main theme from Top Gun, and the third, The Danger Zone, also from Top Gun. So we have one classic mixed in with just the entire Top Gun soundtrack. Clearly the aliens wouldn't want to mess around with us after that. Over 100 Wagner fighters move towards border with Poland and Lithuania. Meanwhile, every Pole's reaction to that information, you can almost see in their eyes, they want it. They want something to happen. This is basically a dream come true for them. Poland, whenever Russia threatens to invade their country again. Go ahead. Punk. Make my day. Shoot me. Why am I imagining like the Joker waiting to be hit by Batman on the motorcycle? It's all a part of the plan. A brand new photo of the new China proposed peace bridge to Taiwan. Ah yes, a peace bridge. They might as well just make it a wooden Trojan horse I guess at this point. Beijing wants to create a demilitarized zone on these islands. I guess in efforts to bring these two countries together. Yeah, I don't know if I'm buying that. When Australia beats you at swimming, but you're from the US and rearrange the metal table to feel better. I've actually noticed this before, like if the US gets the most gold wins, they'll make sure that they sort the table by gold wins instead of overall total medals. As you can see, Australia got 13 gold wins in this situation versus our fours, but uh, yeah, yeah. We pulled a sneaky one on them and thought we'd get away with that. American here, I just wanted to let you know my kids are watching Bluey so much that they started pronouncing some words with an Australian accent. Please tell me they didn't learn the C word. Ha! Says Australia, now you know how it feels. I can't even imagine how often American media plays in other English countries and messes with people's accents. Finally, the reverse is happening, though. I'm just gonna force my kid to watch nothing but, like, the BBC. Schools are gonna be so confused when he goes to kindergarten. No, I'm not British. <laughs> I don't know why he talks like that. Belgium invents fries. Give it to the Americans to get it more known. Your soldiers speak French. Your soldiers speak French, and now Americans think they're eating French fries, hence the name. Another L for Belgium, I have to say. Okay, so because Belgium is mostly split between two different languages, French and Dutch, you're telling me we could have lived in a universe where they were called Dutch fries? Oh my god. Robert Downey Jr. said he's never witnessed a greater sacrifice by a lead actor in my career. Cillian Murphy learned 30,000 words of Dutch for a minor scene in Oppenheimer. Ah, uh, this word sacrifice meant two different things before I read that headline and after. Cillian basically sacrificed his entire career because he really wanted to learn Dutch. His life is pretty much over now. When Dutch is such a terrible language, it becomes the biggest sacrifice of an actor's career. I guess the actual Oppenheimer actually learned Dutch too, but he also knew six other languages as well. How willing are each country's citizens in helping other countries in a crisis? Now, I've seen maps like this before, but there's kind of this new update to them. You might notice a trend for the lowest country everyone's willing to help. Germany's most willing to help Austria, but least willing to help the UK. France is most willing to help Italy, but least willing to help the UK. Spain's most willing to help Portugal, but least willing to help the UK. Finland is most willing to help Estonia, but least willing to help you. You guessed it. Seems to be just like a theme all around Europe. This is probably the exact reaction they would give to that information though. We only like Bavaria. We have nothing in common. We're so much better, screams Austria. Meanwhile, Germany in response, it's okay, little buddy. We'll always be there for you. Referencing the image that we saw before, uh, maybe Austria doesn't appreciate the help, really. Germany still loves their little brother, though. On July 24th, President Putin signed a bill which will gradually increase the upper age limit for those liable for call-up as reserves, with senior officers now being 
being mobilized up to 70 years old. That is probably what the front lines are about to look like, maybe in like another year or two. Doesn't really matter. You're conscripted. The entire military is about to look like this. People demanding UFO information to be revealed. Meanwhile, Lockheed Martin knowing full well it's actually just their new secret uh, ship, basically. A new plane they're working on. But they can't give away those company secrets. I'm pretty sure something really similar to that happened in the past. Serbia just demolished Albania's only bathroom. No! This country is absolutely devastated. It's over. Serbia won. In the dark blue, we have geographically Balkan. Meanwhile, in the light blue, we have culturally Balkan. Unfortunately, the map is cut off here, but Portugal is definitely also culturally Balkan. This way of life just continues to take over. Polish parents naming their newborn child. We just kind of give this thing a whirl a couple times around and let a couple balls come out. We've got a K. A C. A Z. Another K. An L with a slash through it. And finally, the letter that brings it all all together, the letter that actually makes it Polish, that is literally the most Polish name I've ever seen. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's a lot of pressure to come up with your child's name. Why not just leave it up to something like this? Poland's got it down. Finally, says Hungary, it's ease. Or basically, the word replacer, replacer word. That's how Hungarian rolls. Wait, it's a replacer, replacer word? What, what kind of things is it replacing? Google's just telling me it's wow. Easy. Easy. Oh, it's basically stuff. Just give me the stuff. Okay, that, that makes sense. What Western Europeans think is happening, EU funds going entirely to uh, greedy Eastern Europeans. What is actually happening, Romania will have 9 billion out of the 27 billion euros from this thing, but only spent 0.34 billion. So out of all the money they were given, uh, they've still only spent about this much so far. Take this money, spend it! Develop yourself and then Romania be like I don't know what exactly is happening Maybe there's a reason why Romania doesn't want to exactly spend it But at least they're you know financially responsible it could have all just disappeared with no results Doesn't seem like that bad of a problem southern Europeans when they don't talk to someone for five minutes Meanwhile Scandinavians after greeting someone back. I had to say hello today on my commute to work literally ruined everything. I feel so bad because I remember being on this flight from Helsinki, Finland to Stockholm, Sweden. And of course, I wanted to strike up a conversation with the Finnish guy next to me. I remember him looking something like this, but man, he was so nice. I'm sure he didn't want to talk, but he, he did. Of course, Finland is not Scandinavian, but you know what? I'm, it's close. So many Americans move to Southern Europe because of this, though. In the US, a lot of people don't talk to each other either, so it's, it's a nice change of pace. Oppenheimer, if he actually invented Greg's sausage rolls instead of the atomic bombs. No doubt he would have been a whole lot happier. I have become Greg's cooker of sausage rolls. We're now calling the islands Las Malvinas now. Are you listening? We're calling them a different name. They're no longer called the Falklands. Las Malvinas son Argentinas. But uh, they're, they're still screaming quit quit having fun. Are you sure you really want to wake the British from their slumber? Did you want to do that again? Meanwhile, the Falkland Islands are just watching this documentary about the 80s and everything that happened. Although even Google themselves has to dunk on Argentina. I type in the name, yet it's just showing me Falkland Islands with this in parentheses. Can't wait for that sequel. With the Second Amendment, so many Americans have guns, it would be impossible for the U.S. to be invaded by a foreign army. Oh, totally, dude. They wouldn't make it a mile in the States. Meanwhile, someone mentions the War of 1812. No! No, 1812 doesn't count. Of course, there's always an exception to the argument, I guess. We did have our Capitol building burned down. What people think Australia is like versus what Australia is actually like. It's literally the same exact image, except there's a C word in it. Yep, no, that checks out. Hungarians in 1918, when the minorities they treated like poop seceded from their oppressive kingdom, why would they do this? They are in complete shock, even to this day. It's been over 100 years. Yeah, Hungary is still not too happy about this whole thing. B, the Filipino Japan thinks you are. Now, I've seen the version of the American Japan thinks you are. Uh, this is extremely different. There's definitely a different idea that's coming through, I guess. I mean, you got some, like, fighters in there, uh, and then there's other things. Yeah, they think Philippines are cute. I think they... I don't really know. In the Vietnamese version of Cinderella, at the end, Cinderella dismembered her stepsister, put her body into a jar of food, and sent it to her stepmother to eat, which she enjoyed until she found that... We're not even gonna... Let's just... 
I'm just gonna stop it right there. Vietnam might still be having some of their own Vietnam flashbacks. Is that why these stories are so horrifying? Southern Californians being horrified at whatever walking tacos are. Meanwhile, here are North Midwesterners. Uh, all right, yeah, as a Southern Californian myself, I have no idea what a walking taco is. My guess is it's like pizza by the slice in New York. People just like get pizzas and they're walking and eating at the same time. Is it something similar to that? Somewhat similar, uh, tacos in a bag or or how it's easy to walk around with them chatting at a party, eating around a campfire. What in the hell are you guys doing? What have you done? I'm horrified, but I do want to try it. I was going to complain, like, that seems like a horror, like, you you know, tacos are not pizza. I would never want to walk around with an actual taco. But you know what? This is actually kind of a genius idea. All right, I'm, I'm on board. Croatia plus Russia equals Serbia. Serbia plus Turkey equals Bosnia and Herzegovina. Serbia plus Albania equals equals, of course, Kosovo. And finally, there's just Bulgaria equals Macedonia. Yeah. Or in other words, how to make the Balkans through, like, chemicals in a lab or something. Why do I feel like we're mixing elements or something similar like that? What are those video games when you, like, combine certain things to create? <sighs> I can't even remember. It's been so long. We can basically do that with countries now, though. Big thanks to my patrons. Destiny. <laughs> 9,000. Drew needs to pay his taxes. Why am I doing Karina this? Best John. Girl. Denver. I'm the kidnapper. Jack Traven's annoying friends. Ransom. This channel is Inquisitors. By Aries. 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 Kittle, Caleb. Uh, Australia. Australia. Is real. Book, I am not a paid actor. Luxembourg. Patrick Dye. Subscribe to the Drew. Mexican Ralph. Seven, six, Become a patron by checking the description down below.